Good afternoon, this is Eddie from Puritech introducing the Rungsan F71 P1 time controlled filter automatic valve. Today I'm going to show you how to program it so it makes it easier for you on site, you don't struggle. First of all, we are going to plug it in. When you plug it in, you'll actually see all the lights of the functions light up. Then it's going to show you the physical model of this Rungsan automatic valve. As you can see, 71 P1. Now it goes into an automatic flush mode, you can hear the motor running. Please bear in mind this is a full automatic filter valve. It's meant for media like DMI-65, crash glass media, sand, alkaline ceramic balls. It's a filter head. Once this automatic flush is done, it's going to kick into the settings mode. So we just wait a few seconds. There we go. Now, as you can see with our glass, the head is actually in a functional manner, but we're going to just wait a few seconds for the head to lock. You're going to hear a beeping noise and you're going to see the key light is going to light up. You heard the beep. There you see the key light. It's shining. Now, what we want to do right now at this point is say you cannot alter anything. This is actually what you do for people if you, they don't really know how to program these heads and you don't want them to fiddle with your settings that you've set. We want to unlock it, the, the head now. So you press the up and, up and down arrow key, hold it in for a few seconds, you'll hear another beep. And you'll see the light for the key is off. Now we want to go to the first setting. So we press the square button. It takes you to 19 minutes past one. This is a 24 hour format clock. This is the actual time of day it is right now. Now it's currently now at 10 minutes past 12 midday. So what we want to do is reset this. So we press the square button. You'll see the, the one o'clock, the 13 lights up. We press the down arrow key, takes you to 12. We are happy with that. To know that you're busy setting the settings, you'll see there's spanner, there's a little spanner light. Now that little spanner light is busy flickering. Now we press the square arrow again. We said it's 10 past 12, we go down to 10. We're happy with this setting, press the square button. And now the real time of day is set. Move on to the next setting showing you three o'clock in the morning. Now this is a time it's actually meant to backwash. So the time when nobody's actually using their water. So let's say that time is two o'clock in the morning. We press the square, square arrow again. We press the down arrow button, take it to two. Press the square button again, and then we go on to minutes. So you can set it to five minutes past two if you want, but we're keeping it at two o'clock. We're happy with the setting. We press the square button onto the next setting. This is F00. Basically, you're going to leave the setting as is. You're not really going to change anything on it because there is a F01. But this means for very specific applications when you actually want to manually backwash the head, when you want it to be manually backwashed. So we're going to leave it on F00. Let's go back to that setting. Leave it on F00. Square button, and it's programmed. The next setting we go to, this is the basically the amount of days it'll take before it backwashes. So it's telling me with a little D that's lit up that it's going to backwash every fifth day. Now let's say we've got a lot of turbidity and a lot of sediment in the water. We want to backwash every third day. We press the square button, it five lights up, we press the down arrow key, go down to three. We're happy with the setting every third day, press the square button, and it's set for every third day. We're moving on to the next setting. This is your actual backwash time. Now, what you want to do is you, you, this is all dependent once again on how much sediment and how much stability is in your water. But let's say we want to backwash for 10 minutes. We press the square button, press the up arrow key, go to 10. We're happy with that setting, press the square button, and now it's set for 10 minutes backwash. The next setting, this is your phosphorin setting, okay? Now this is a lot of people only use this for a polishing, especially on a filter head, just to make sure all the sediment is out of the actual vessel. So let's say we want to phosphorin for five minutes. We press the square button, press the down arrow key, go to five minutes, press the square button, and it's set for five minutes fast rinse. Now, the next setting, B01, this is for how many times a day you want it to backwash. Now, generally, you don't touch this either. You're only backwashing once a day. That's enough. 
Um, if you set it on some heads to backwash at P02, it'll try and backwash twice a day, but it'll backwash actually twice after each other. So it's actually pretty pointless. So just leave the setting B01 as is. Now your head is programmed. What's gonna happen is you're gonna leave it for about a minute. You're gonna hear a beeping noise. You're gonna see your key is gonna be lit up again and your head is programmed.